This LOS is explain return generating models, including the market model, and their uses. Return generating models. The simplest return generating model is a model that can provide an estimate of the expected return of a security given certain parameters. If systematic risk is the only relevant parameter for return, then the return generating model will estimate the expected return for any asset given the level of systematic risk. CAPM is a form of a return generating model and is a single factor linear model in which only one factor is considered, and that's the beta of the security. And uh, the market factor is in the following form. So the expected return equals the risk-free rate plus the beta times the expected return to the market minus the risk-free rate, which is the market risk premium, okay? Flash back to the cost of capital LOS, where we had to calculate and interpret the cost of equity capital using the CAPM model approach. Beta can be estimated by using historical security and market returns, and we'll see more on how to calculate the beta in another LOS. Return generating models. So the first model, the market model, has a single risk factor, is the return on the market. The asset's beta is the sensitivity of, of its returns to this risk factor. Asset returns are a linear function of market returns. We can then look at multi-factor markets and where we're just adding more sensitivities. The factor Fs are the expected values of each risk factor. The betas are the asset's factor sensitivities or factor loadings for each risk factor. Macroeconomic factors such as GDP growth, inflation, and consumer confidence could be other factors. Fundamental factors such as earnings, earnings growth, firm size, and research e expenditures are fundamental factors. So basically what we're looking at is different factors, both macroeconomic and or fundamental, that help to explain a security's returns. The FAMA and French model is a three-factor model. The risk factors are one, firm size, two, book to market ratio, and three, excess return on the market portfolio. Carhartt added a fourth factor, momentum, and these models explain US equity returns better than the market or single index model. So again, they're just trying to add factors that help to better explain the returns of individual securities versus the market. So we'll just finish this LOS with a pr quick practice question. A return generating model that provides an estimate of the expected return of a security based on factors such as earning growth and cash flow generation is best described as A, a market factor model, B, fundamental factor model, or C, macroeconomic factor model. So B is correct. A return generating model based on such factors such as earnings growth and cash flow generation is a fundamental factor model. So recall back to the slide, the ma macroeconomic factors are GDP growth, inflation, consumer confidence, other um, economic related factors. But when we look at earnings, earnings growth, firm slice, anything that's fairly company specific, then we're always referring to them as fundamental factors. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.